My dear students, in class 9, you have learned what is a linear equation in two variables, what is the solution of a linear equation in two variables, what is the graphical representation of a linear equation in two variables, uh, and so on. In class 10, we will learn what is a pair of linear equation in two variables, what is the solution of a pair of linear equations in two variables, and so on. Myself, Noble Thomas, once again I welcome you all to your own channel, Noble Mathematics. We'll find a way or make one. Today I am going to start a new lesson for class 10 the students. That is chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. You know what is a linear equation in two variables? An equation which contains two variables with the highest power 1 is called a linear equation in two variables. And also you know what is the solution of a linear equation in two variables. The values of the variables x and y which satisfies a, a linear equation in two variables is called the solution. And also you know that a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. You have also learned that the graphical representation of a linear equation in two variables is a straight line. That means if you draw the graph of a linear equation in two variables in a Cartesian plane, you will get a straight line which will pass through many points. It will pass through many points means the x coordinate and y coordinate of all these points will be the solution of the respective linear equation in two variables. But for class 10, we have a pair of linear equations in two variables. Here we will start the lesson with the standard form of a pair of linear equations in two variables. The standard form of a pair of linear equations in two variables is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Here a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 all are real numbers. Where a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 all are real numbers. For example, 3x plus y is equal to 4 and x minus y is equal to 8 represent a pair of linear equations in two variables. Definitely these two are not in the standard form. If you write these two in the standard form, we can write it as 3x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus y minus 8 is equal to 0. Now comparing with the standard forms, here we can write the values of a1 is equal to 3, b1 is equal to 1 because y means 1y and c1 is equal to minus 4. Similarly, a2 is equal to 1 b2 is equal to minus 1 and c2 is equal to minus 8. Now we are going to see what is the solution of a pair of linear equations in two variables. The solution of a pair of linear equations in two variables means the values of x and y which satisfy both the equations that is the first equation and the second equation is called a solution of a linear equation in two variables. Let us understand this through an example. Consider a pair of linear equations in two variables. First equation is x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 and the second equation is 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. If you take the first equation alone, this equation can have many solutions because you know that 
a linear equation in two variables can have infinitely many solutions. And if you take the second equation also, this equation also can have infinitely many solutions. That is, first equation can have its own set of solutions and the second equation can have its own solution. But when we think of the solution of a pair of linear equations in two variables, it means the values of x and y which is a solution for both the equations. Here, if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, then these values of x and y will satisfy the first equation as well as the second equation. Let us verify. For the first equation, if you take x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, then LHS becomes 1 plus 2y means 2 into 1 minus 3. That is equal to 1 plus 2 into 1, 2 minus 3. 1 plus 2, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0, which is equal to RHS. That is, if you take the values of x and y equal to 1 and 1 respectively, then it satisfies the first equation. Therefore, we can say that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is a solution of the first equation. Now, for the second equation, if you take x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, then LHS becomes 3x means 3 into 1 plus 2y means 2 into 1 minus 5. 3 into 1, 3 plus 2 into 1, 2 minus 5. 3 plus 2, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0, which is equal to RHS. That is, here also, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is a solution. So, we can say that for both the equations, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is a common solution. Now, let us see. What is the graph of a pair of linear equations in two variables? You know that the graph of a linear equation in two variables is a straight line that you have learned in class 9. So here, for the examples, we have two equations in two variables which are called a pair of linear equations in two variables or a system of linear equations in two variables. First one is x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. And the second equation is 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. If you draw the graph of the first equation and the graph of the second equation, you will definitely get two straight lines. Because the graphical representation of a linear equation in two variables is a straight line. For drawing the graph of the first equation, we need a set of solutions. So here, in this table, I have written few solutions of the first equation. That is, the values of x are 1, 5, minus 1, and the respective values of y are 1, minus 1, and 2. Similarly, for the second equation also, we have a table having few solutions. The values of x and y are respectively minus 1, 4, 1, 1 and 3, minus 2. To draw the graph of the first equation, we will take the values of x and y as the coordinates of the point and will be plotted in a Cartesian plane, that is on a graph paper. Here, the values are x coordinate 1, y coordinate 1. So, 1, 1 approximately that is the point. Second, 5 minus 1. x coordinate 5 and y coordinate minus 1. It is approximately here. Third one is x coordinate minus 1, y coordinate 2. x coordinate minus 1, y coordinate 2. Here, you know that it is not a graph paper. So, I may not get exactly the straight line. But when you use a graph paper, definitely you will get the straight line. 
but approximately have been in the straight line. So this is the graphical representation of the first equation x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we are going to draw the graph for the second equation 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. Here the three solutions are minus 1, 4, 1, 1 and 3 minus 2. I am going to plot these as the coordinates in the graph paper and let us see how the graph looks like. First coordinates are minus 1, 4. X coordinate minus 1, Y coordinate 4. It will be somewhere here. So here just I write x minus plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Here the first coordinates are minus 1, 4 I marked. Second one is 1, 1. The second one is 1, 1 means it will be here. The third one is 3 minus 2. x coordinate 3, y coordinate minus 2. It will be somewhere here. Now if you join this, definitely you can see that you get a straight line. So this is the graph of the second equation that is 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. Here you can see that the two straight lines intersect at the point 1, 1. That means the point at which the two straight lines intersect has the x coordinate 1 and y coordinate 1 which is the solution of these two equations. That is if you draw the graphs of a pair of linear equations in two variables then they will intersect at a point where the x coordinate and y coordinates are the solutions of the two equations. So my dear students, I hope you got the basic concept about a pair of linear equations in two variables, the standard form of a pair of linear equations in two variables, solution of a pair of linear equations in two variables and the graphical representation of a pair of linear equations in two variables.